Grayscale. All right, so Grayscale. The thing with them is that, you know, we have the Bitcoin trust, we have the Ethereum trust, and it's at a premium. Well, Grayscale just went ahead and said, you know what, those are doing fantastic. We have other ones, but here's our five new ones. And for me, when I saw this, I thought to myself, you know what, these types of cryptocurrencies, I really need to take a deeper dive into because if Grayscale, who was one of the first the D ones to do a trust and really got into heavy into Bitcoin. And even on their charter, it states that they can't sell uh, Bitcoin. It's only in a trust that it's, it's in their charter. They can't sell it. So when they take a look and they say, Hey, you know what? We like these types of assets, basic attention token. Okay. I got some of that chain link. Okay. I got, I got some of that. Decentraland trust, Filecoin trust and live peer trust you really would want to take a deep dive as to why these guys did it. Maybe this would make sense for you. This is not financial advice. But when I see something like this, I think to myself, maybe I should take a deeper dive into Decentraland, uh, which would be um, mostly mana. Filecoin, uh, they just had a listing over at uh, Coinbase and it does pretty well. It is all about uh, the ability to have cloud computing services but on the blockchain or file sharing software on the blockchain. So uh, it looks like a pretty good one. Instead of doing, you know, paying for uh, Apple iCloud, you could do this type of thing. And then there might be an advantage here. I just got to do more of a uh, deep dive and live peer. Don't know anything about it. I need to do my own due diligence. So again, take a look at these ones. If you're wondering why these things are up, it's because Grayscale listed them. So maybe in all honesty, that Coinbase effect, Maybe Grayscale has more of an effect than uh, Coinbase does. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our 